the Arizona Cardinals are in a very odd place right now as a franchise. Because if this was any other team coming off an 11-6 season and a playoff berth, many of us would be pretty optimistic about the future of the franchise. However, you look at the state of the franchise for the Arizona Cardinals, despite making it to the playoffs for the first time since 2015, there is a lot of skepticism regarding the future of Arizona. And there are a lot of Arizona Cardinals fans who seem to be unhappy with Cliff Kingsbury. As a matter of fact, I was kind of surprised at how many Arizona Cardinals fans were calling for Cliff Kingsbury to get fired after their wild card loss to the LA Rams. And Cliff Kingsbury, at least if we're judging him by his performance so far, he's been successful. Like there are a lot of coaches who struggle of making the transition from being a head coach in college football to being the head coach in the NFL. But yet, Cliff Kingsbury so far has been successful. It reminds you that Cliff Kingsbury wasn't a great college coach. As a matter of fact, he got fired. And despite that he got fired, Arizona hired him anyway to be their head coach. And, you know, it was a big gamble at the time when Arizona rolled the dice on Cliff Kingsbury. But if I were to ask you Arizona Cardinals fans the question right now, do you feel like Cliff Kingsbury has delivered so far as a head coach of the Arizona Cardinals? What would be a lot of you guys' responses? Because, like, I'm looking at what Cliff Kingsbury has done so far as the head coach of the Cardinals, and the Cardinals have improved under Cliff Every single season. Year one, they weren't that great. Year two, they improved. Year three, they're in the postseason. But yet, despite the fact that Arizona made the postseason under Cliff Kingsbury and had a pretty solid season, there is a lot of skepticism regarding Cliff Kingsbury's future as a head coach in Arizona. And there are... A couple of criticisms that a lot of Cardinals fans have when it comes to Cliff Kingsbury. I'm going to name the two popular ones. The first one is that Cliff Kingsbury isn't great at making adjustments. In game or midseason, he's just not a coach who thrives at having to make changes on the fly. Like Arizona this year, or this past season, excuse me, started out 8-1. They were... At a time, the best team in the NFL, in some people's eyes. And many people were starting to look at Arizona as a legitimate Super Bowl contender. However, second half of the season was a completely different story. So, Arizona's record, the first half of this past season was 8-1. Do you know what Arizona's win-loss record was after their 8-1 start? 3-6. They only won three games after their 8-1 start, and they lost six games after that, including their 34-11 beatdown by the Rams in the wildcard round of this past year's NFL playoffs. Then, another criticism that people have of Cliff Kingsbury is his play calling. His play calling at times can be predictable and kind of lacking logic at times. So, like, what to make of Cliff Kingsbury? Well, at least for the moment, he's still the head coach of Arizona. And it looks like he's going to be the head coach going into the 2020 NFL season. However, is it fair to say that Cliff Kingsbury is on the hot seat going into the 2022 NFL season? Like, it's kind of weird. Because, like, I think it's fair to say that the Arizona Cardinals exceeded expectations. At least my expectations, because I didn't have Arizona making it to the playoffs. I had Arizona winning... 11 games was my best case scenario. But my overall record prediction was somewhere between 7 and 8 wins. I didn't really believe in Cliff Kingsbury. So, like, it's kind of weird for me to take this stance on Cliff. Like, it seems like I'm kind of defending him. In which I kind of am. Because, like, I feel like too many people are overlooking the fact that Arizona has gotten better 
every single year under Cliff Kingsbury. Like, there hasn't been a single season that you can say that Arizona has gone back as a franchise under Cliff. And I feel like not too many people are giving Cliff Kingsbury that. You got to give Cliff Kingsbury credit. Like, if you're going to scrutinize somebody and you're going to critique somebody, you got to give them props and praise when they do something right. And I just think that, you know, this or disconnect between Cliff Kingsbury and the fans of the Cardinals. Like, what are Arizona Cardinals fans expecting out of Cliff Kingsbury that he's not delivering? And, you know, like, why is there just so much skepticism regarding Cliff Kingsbury's future in Arizona? Now, the owner of Arizona came out, I believe he came out, did a little interview, and he kind of cleared up, you know, what was going on with Cliff Kingsbury and the whole Kyler Murray fiasco. We're going to get into that. But I mean, with the whole Cliff Kingsbury thing, it seems like he's going into the 2022 NFL season on the hot seat. And if Arizona doesn't make it into the playoffs, there is a pretty high chance that Cliff does return as head coach for Arizona in 2023. Then you look at the Arizona Cardinals. Their star quarterback... Kyler Murray. Um, he ended up having a social media cleanse. Okay, like he took down all his pictures involving the Arizona Cardinals. And there were trade rumors. And there were speculation about his future. And then, you know, the owner came out and said that, you know, we've talked things over with Kyler Murray. Things are good. We're about to start getting in conversations of negotiation talks because Kyler Murray is about to be in line for a contract extension. And you got to wonder, you know, like, what are, what, where's the disconnect between Kyler Murray and Arizona Cardinals? Because despite the fact that, you know, their owner came out and said that we talked, you know, like one simple conversation isn't going to clear up all the problems that Arizona has. Okay, like there's more to this Kyler Murray situation than what meets the eye. Because like there's a disconnect somewhere in that locker room between Kyler Murray and maybe, you know, some of, you know, the other coaches on the staff, you know, mainly Cliff Kingsbury, you know, like where's the disconnect? You know, like why is Kyler Murray, your franchise quarterback, not happy? Like, is there, you know, some players that Kyler Murray wants Arizona to get that maybe Arizona doesn't want to get? Like, is Arizona not listening to Kyler Murray's input? Like, what's the reason for this? Or is there just some more um, off-season talk and speculation that people just always come out with? Like, it seems like every off-season, you know, a couple of star quarterbacks are disgruntled, not happy with their situation, and they want out. Is this just another, you know, off-season story that people just took out of context? Is this just some more off-season speculation? Or is there some truth to the whole Kyler Murray and Arizona, you know, disconnect? I think it's 50-50. You know, I think, you know, this kind of has been overblown. But another part of me also says that, you know, there is some truth to this. So when you look at Arizona right now, this is a franchise that you should be feeling pretty optimistic about. At least you would think based off the season they had. But I mean, the more we start to really look at how this season went for Arizona, you look at the ugly playoff loss they had to the Rams, and you had people calling out Cliff Kingsbury, you had people calling out Kyler Murray, and I think I remember one quote, or at least one um, article pretty much paraphrasing that Kyler Murray felt like he was a scapegoat for the Arizona Cardinals playoff loss, which, you know, like, I don't really think he was a scapegoat. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think he got a fair share of criticism for how he played, which he didn't play good. I think Cliff Kingsbury got his fair share of criticism. But, you know, like, Arizona should have way more optimism, at least you would think. However, there's a lot of skepticism. And I probably have to lie on the skepticism part of things because, like, it's really hard to, you know, get behind Arizona when you have so many things coming out about the disconnect that the front office has. So on top of that, you have the fact that 
Arizona has their star quarterback that seems to kind of be at odds with the organization right now. It's like when the organization from a front office standpoint kind of has these concerns coming out, you know, it kind of worries me, kind of gives me a little bit of doubt. And then on top of that, you got to look at the fact that Seattle is going to be back next season. Like, I don't think that Seattle is going to have another season like last year where they're just completely off the cliff. You're going to have Russell Wilson fully healthy. You're going to have a team that has a good amount of money to spend and cap space. So Seattle should be better. And with Seattle, if they're able to get back to what they were before last season, you know, like, where's Arizona going to lie in terms of the NFC West hierarchy? Because the Rams are the defending Super Bowl champions. You got the 49ers, who a lot of people are really high on, with quarterback Trey Lance expected to be the starter next season. Then you also have Seattle. So where is Arizona going to lie in the hierarchy of the AFC West? Was Arizona able to take advantage just because of how this season went? Can they stay consistent with success and that's my question about Arizona and we're really not going to get the answer to the state of franchise for the Arizona Cardinals until the end of next season and it sounds crazy you're like JT you just made a state of the franchise talking about the Arizona Cardinals and yet you don't really know what the state of the franchise is right now for Arizona you have to wait until next season to figure out what it is yes I do because like There's just so many moving parts. You know, like, it seems like a lot of people still aren't sold on Arizona. So, like, why should I be sold on the future of Arizona? Why should I be optimistic about the Arizona Cardinals when, you know, you have concerns about Cliff Kingsbury having a lot of skepticism by a lot of people and a lot of fans not really behind Cliff Kingsbury, despite the fact that this is the best season that Arizona has had in years. And yet people still aren't sold on him. So if you have a head coach who leads his team to a very good season, one of the more successful seasons that that franchise has had in a while, but yet people still have questions regarding that head coach and concerns You know, it makes me raise a lot of eyebrows. And this thing that's going on with Kyler Murray kind of makes me raise some eyebrows as well. So I don't really know what to make of Arizona. But right now, I'm looking at the state of franchise for Arizona, and I really don't know. And we're really not going to find out where this franchise is until after next season. Because after next season is going to give us kind of the answers that we're looking for. Are they going to be able to continue to improve under Cliff Kingsbury or are they going to regress? Is Cliff Kingsbury going to be able to improve his play calling? And on top of that, can Arizona under Cliff Kingsbury show that this can be a consistent franchise that is going to be a consistent, you know, team in the playoff picture and maybe, you know, find themselves in the Super Bowl window? You get what I'm saying? So, with Cliff, with Cliff, there's just a lot of questions. And a lot of those questions aren't going to get, you know, answered until the start of next season. And they're not fully going to be answered until the end of next season. So if Cliff, if Cliff Kingsbury has a good year, Arizona makes it to the playoffs again and whatnot, I think he's going to be back. But if not, and they miss the postseason kind of puts his future in jeopardy so stay the franchise for arizona really really murky right now out there in the desert at the moment